back to the home decor channel. I truly hope you guys are doing great today. So the last time we met, I mentioned that I wanted to glam up my space a little bit and I was buying items and products to help do that, to bring in a little bit of glam and a little bit of luxury pieces. So I wanted to share with you some things that I recently purchased from Marshall's Home Goods, Amazon, and so forth. So um, I'm in my dining room right now and I really was looking for a dining room table, a new dining room table. I already have one right here, but I haven't found one as yet. So I'm making do with what I have. I recently found some dining room chairs and it's these beautiful pieces right here. So I'm gonna give you a close up look and tell you how much I paid, where I got it from, and show you the rest of the product. So stay tuned. I need to close these blinds so you could see me better. Much better, right? I am truly in the crossroads of furniture right now, but I managed to pick up these four chairs from HomeSense, and believe it or not, right here, uh, they were 149, and I was gonna pay the 149, but as I looked closer, um, it was 119, 119 for each chair. Um, they have a little bit of scuff here and there, but not anything that's too crazy. Um, HomeSense is not great with giving you any additional discounts right now, but I did manage to pick them up for 119. I did want a, something additional off because when I took a good look at them, the the chair legs were a little bit scratchy, but it will do. Um, they have this like a little bit of an amber clayish color to them, but ultimately they are beige velvet, beautiful chairs. And they are from Tahari um, for them for 119. And um, if you want to know those green chairs, I took them back. And the reason why I did so because my son was leaning on it and he actually flipped over, so they're not sturdy. So the chairs I showed you the last time I took back, so I don't have to worry about those accent chairs matching or clashing with these chairs. Um, like I said, I am currently looking for a new dining room table. Usually you buy the table and then the chairs. That's how I would go about it. But um, with this particular time, I actually found these chairs. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't too sure about them because of the color, but my mom told me, she said, if you take these chairs back, you were going to be sorry. So um, they, they really look nice. So I'm, I'm going to hang on to them and see what happens. I'm hoping that I can find a suitable dining room table and um, I can make this area look as I want it to, although it doesn't look that bad right now. Okay, so while we're in the dining room area, I recently picked up um, this light fixture from Amazon. I paid about 40 something dollars for it. Because I change my lighting so often, I try not to spend a lot on it because um, when I change around my decor, I usually change up my lighting. So this is what I got from Amazon. I will put the link or the tab, the tag um, on the, in the description box. So check there if you wanna pick it up. It's a Sputnik lighting and I'm gonna put up new curtains or actually take the hooks down and not put up any curtains at all. So this is my dining room space for what it looks like right now. Once I get all of the new furniture in, I'll show you guys everything. And these mirrors, I'm um, here in the dining room. I um, I don't know if they're gonna stay. I did it because it helps to reflect light. I was thinking about putting them right next to the windows. However, I tried it already and with, you can see there in the corner, I have those built-ins. It, it looks like too much going across. So I had to put them back on either side of the wall here. So let me step back a little bit. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna stay, but we'll see. But for right now, this is what I got. I actually bought some other mirrors. And while I really enjoy the aesthetic of these mirrors for $49.99 at Home Goods, I did bring them home and tried them out. Unfortunately, I think they need to be longer. They are not the length that I need. I recently went to Marshall's Home Goods and I found these um, counter stools here. You could see that they were holding them for me. I got three of them and that's all I'm going to really put um, near my counter in the kitchen because I don't need a lot. So I don't have them there yet. Um, 
right by the counter. I did try them out because they kind of clash with the dining chairs. So I don't have them there. I have them there and then I remove them so I can see something else, which I'll show you in a second. $1.29 a piece and I got them um, for $1.15 each because they kind of wrote on the legs and the, um, the, the ink is not coming off of the legs, but you have to really look at it in order to see it. And I was thinking that possibly if I decide to keep them because it's such a good deal, one of them I got for 110 actually. So two for 115 and one for 110. So it has like this gold bar, you can see the detail there. And I was thinking that maybe I could possibly change, paint the legs black um, to see if it blends in, but it looks like a little bit too much chair, right? So I'm not sure testing these products out. It's important when you have a big open floor plan, it's kind of difficult sometimes to find furniture that um, co that's cohesive and it has a nice little flow to it. So I also picked up this dining stool for $79.99. And then I have the stool here that I just showed you. Um, it's a little bit too much chair with the stool. You see like the backing and then the wood kind of clashes but then i have these stools here that will help to balance out like you have a lot of chair a little bit of stool in your kitchen area and the stools are actually cheaper um than the full back counter stools so i have to see which one but i did pick these up from home goods i got three of them for 79.99 so i'm in the market for a few rugs maybe one for the dining room maybe one for the living room but I took a look at this beautiful rug here at Home Goods. I just think this is so spectacular. But the price is just not right for me this time around because I have so much to buy. It's $2.99. Um, and then there was this one. Really beautiful rugs at Home Goods. Guys, stay tuned after um, I finish my haul so you guys can see some of these pieces in um, the stores. I'll attach a shop with me. And um, yeah, they have some really nice rugs in here. But I headed over to Ross and I ended up picking up this rug right here. It's not really big enough for my living room. It's a six by nine, but the colors were right. And I just wanted to test out a few things um, at home. So I actually ended up purchasing three rugs, two that are of the same pattern, same make. However, it is uh, different sizes, one for the dining room if I choose to put one in the dining room and one bigger one for the living room. That's the one that's unopened there. And then the rug that I showed you in Ross, um, this one right here, I'm still holding on to it. I really do like it on the floor opened up. However, the smaller one, this one right here, I'm taking back. My kids said something really funny to me. They said they didn't like it. They told me that it looked like dried blood was on part of it. It was stained or something. So this big one and the little one is going back. Um, the prices on these rugs, the little one was $49.99. This one right here with the blood stains. <laughs> I don't know where they got that from, but it's going back to Ross. And then um, the bigger one right here for uh, $100, the rolled up one is going back to Ross as well. But I did decide to hang on to this one, which was my original choice at Ross for $89.99. Hey guys, so that was the end of my haul, but let's go into Home Goods and take a look at some of these beautiful pieces of furniture that I had to share with you all. Um, stay tuned because there's a lot more furniture shopping from me. I still have to get that dining room table, but look at this beauty right here. Um, it is spectacular. Marble top, it's just gorgeous. Everybody was stopping to look at it. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the Home Decor channel.